Welcome to Agriculture Academy, where we show you how to start a profitable business in agriculture. Remember to like and subscribe so that you never miss out on any new videos. In this video, we are going to take an in-depth look at the production principles for the commercial production of cut flower gerbera. Let's get started. Introduction Along with sunflowers and daisies, the gerbera belongs to the family Compositae. The species that is grown for commercial annual production, Gerbera jamesoni, was bred by making crosses with Gerbera jernsoni and Gerbera viridifolia. When new varieties are being tested in breeding programs, the following characteristics are selected for uniformity, earliness, growth habit, color, and flower form. Gerbera that are grown in pots are commonly dwarfed varieties. Some of the cultivars used for this purpose are Tempo, Festival, and Masquerade. At the Dutch auctions, Gerbera must follow a certification program to meet minimum VAR standards. Propagation Gerbera are most commonly grown from seed. However, some plants can be grown in tissue culture from cuttings. The plant can also be divided when it is large enough, but this is seldom done for commercial practices. For the seeds to germinate, the medium should be made up of 60% perlite and 40% peat moss. 1,000 seeds are sown into a tray 36 by 46 cm large. The seed are then covered with a thin layer of vermiculite to promote germination, and the bottoms of the trays can be heated. It is important to keep the seeds moist. Emergence should occur in 7 to 14 days under these conditions. After about 4 weeks, or until two true leaves have developed, the seedlings can be transplanted into individual pots. Pot plant production. Unlike most cut flowers, gerbera are not only sold as cut flowers, but pot plants too. The techniques and methods for cut flower and pot production are differently suited to the production purpose. Plants grown in pots need to be placed in a well-drained mix that has a pH of 6.5. The mix should also not contain more than 20% bark. When planting the seedlings, it is extremely important that the crowns do not get buried. Buried crowns are more susceptible to disease. The pot plants are commonly fertilized using fertigation systems. With each watering, 250 parts per million of nitrogen should be applied. Osmocote, a controlled release fertilizer, can also be applied. A 14-14-14 mix can be broadcast at a rate of 3.7 kg per cubic meter. With warmer temperatures however, an 18-6-12 mix should be used to release nutrients at a slower rate. Gerbera are also sensitive to magnesium and iron deficiencies. To prevent this, magnesium sulfate is applied at 71 grams per 400 liters of fertigation water. Iron deficiencies are prevented using chelated iron drenches. The spacing requirements for pot plants will depend on pot size. 15 cm pots require an area of 30 cm between pots. The smaller 10 cm pots need 18 cm between pots for dwarfed varieties, and 25 cm for larger varieties. Potted gerbera need to be smaller than their cut flower counterparts. Growers will either use dwarfed cultivars or growth regulators to slow growth. Some common growth regulators that are used include B9, Bonzi and Arrest. The potted gerbera require maximum amounts of sunlight. Day temperatures should be around 21 to 27 degrees Celsius, with nighttime temperatures of 16 degrees Celsius. Under these conditions, gerbera in 6 cm pots will take 10 weeks to flower. Cut flower production. The following aspects of cut flower production are going to be discussed. Soil. Spacing and planting. Irrigation. Nutrition, carbon dioxide, diseases, insects, and harvesting. Soil. 
the soil for cut flowers needs to be well prepared before the seedlings are transplanted. The soil must have a good air to water balance and be adequately disinfected. Spacing and planting. When it comes to spacing, the rows should be 36 to 46 cm apart, and the plants can be placed 25 cm apart within the row. The gerbera should be shallow planted, because deep planting causes rot. The plants should be kept at daily temperatures of about 30 degrees Celsius. The seedlings should be planted in the early mornings or evenings to avoid the stress caused by these hot temperatures. Irrigation. When irrigating the plants, overhead irrigation can be used during the initial development stages. This will also help increase humidity in the greenhouse. The plants should be watered thoroughly rather than frequently. Initially, the plants should be irrigated two to three times a week, which is reduced to one to two times a week later. After the plants have grown and the leaves cover the soil, overhead irrigation should be replaced with drip irrigation. Nutrition. When it comes to fertilizer requirements of cut gerbera, the plants are generally light feeders. Liquid fertilizers are used and an EC of 1.2 to 1.6 should be maintained. An N, P, K, M, G, fertilizer with a ratio of 8, 1, 4, 2, can be used. Carbon dioxide. The plants require an ambient carbon dioxide concentration of 600 to 800 parts per million. Increased carbon dioxide levels will improve stem strength and flower number, but not overall yield. Diseases. Gerbera are susceptible to numerous diseases, caused by organisms such as Botrytis, Phytophthora, Pythium and Fusarium. Prevention can be done by using heating pipes to keep the leaves dry. This especially helps with botrytis prevention. Chemical prevention can include the use of Prevacur and Topsin M drenches to prevent root diseases. Insects. Leaf miners are a common problem in gerbera. They can be controlled using Vertimec and Tamaron. Other problem insects include whiteflies and thrips, which can be targeted using biological controls. Harvest. Harvesting can begin 8 to 12 weeks after planting when 2 to 3 rows of stamens are visible in the center of the flowers. The stems are harvested by pulling them from the plant. The stems are not cut to prevent pathogen spread. Depending on the variety, flowers can be harvested two to four times a week. The stems must be immediately placed in water. A post-harvest rack allows the stems to be kept upright and prevents bent stems. Bactericides are applied and the flowers are packed for shipping after three to four hours in water. The flowers must be shipped cool at 10 to 15 degrees Celsius to prevent condensation on flower heads. And that brings us to the end of our video on the principles of commercial gerbera production. Thank you for watching and see you next time.